Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So in the last video I had a couple of comments about what was going on in the background. Yes, we are now filming back in the realm. Not sure whether this will be a permanent background or not, but I had to rearrange everything and put it onto this side of the realm. So we may continue like this, but I did want to have a bit of a spare wall to show off the Hall of Fame board once its creation is complete. Anyway, to the point of this video. This one is all about this little beauty in here, the Diplura species, that name is on the top. I cannot pronounce that place. And it is a curtain web spider and I got this from Venomous Visions. Now if you've never purchased from Venomous Visions, please go and check out his website. Tony Webb who runs that is an absolute legend and he deals a lot in centipedes. So if you're a centipede lover, that's where you wanna go. However, for me, Having a little curtain web spider like this was the perfect, well, it was a trade more than a buy with Tony Webb. So, first things first, we're gonna set up the enclosure for this beauty and then we're gonna house it. So I'm using a cylindrical enclosure that I won at Seas. These are created by the Tarantula Room. So they like a slightly damp substrate as far as I am aware and they would like anchor points. Now these guys can build really cool silken tunnels. So I'm just gonna mess around in here and pop what I can in. Now I don't know a huge, huge, huge amount about this species other than the fact that they make cool webs and I believe they're from Bolivia or some of the surrounding areas. And I've been keeping my eye on this species for quite a long time. Tony Webb has had them on the site for a while and I just really, really wanted to give them a go. Now, I'm not sure on the sex of these. I'm going to guess that mine's a female because the males in pictures have come across a lot more slender than this. So let's hope for the best. Now, what I've done here is I've made anchor points all the way around the edges. So we've got bits of bark and twig all the way around the edges with the middle free for the spider to do with as it wills. But I thought it'd be kind of cool if it does make tunnels around the edges. And if it doesn't and makes it purely in the middle and uses these as outside anchor points, it's still gonna look awesome. So it's a win-win situation either way. Now to keep up a little bit more humidity, because it gets drier here in winter when you're using central heating, I'm putting some fragments of moss in there, just willy-nilly. And then a little bit of crumbled up oak leaf just for an added effect. So let's get a better look at this before we house the spider. Here's the side view for you. And then over the top, there we have it. Plenty for the spiders to do and make its home in. So the next step is getting it out of here and into here. It's actually out at the moment. There it is. These have striking colorations, although you can't see it through the webbing there properly but you'll be able to see when I get this spider out and you can see the silken tunnels that it's already made in this tub. Pretty cool, right? So let's get this beauty from here to here. First things first, let's get this open. Now these are incredibly quick spiders and I'm really hoping it doesn't do a runner. Now you won't be able to see properly folks, but it's actually just in this corner here. I'm simply gonna get a pot and push it over the top. Well, that plan failed a little. The spider, I believe, has actually ran into one of its created burrows. I can no longer push this pot down because I do not know the whereabouts of the spider. So let me figure that out and get back to you. Okay, it's in a silken retreat in here now. I'm just trying to take away some of the excess webbing on the outside and I might even be able to lift it up straight as it is. Voila. So I've got its old box I will use as a catch cup if it decides to do a runner. Now the spider is actually sat right in here. Let me get a closer look for you. So I'm gonna try and coax it out, but I don't want it to do a runner up the side. So I've gotta be very careful here. 
there look at those striking colors let me see if i can position the light better for you that's the best my light's going to get now let's see if we can get it to come a little bit more and we can see the abdomen there there we have it guys our diplura species curtain web spider in all its glory now i've probably stressed it out so it's probably not going to take a feed but shall we attempt one anyway just for the sake of it here goes no reaction from the spider nope i think it's just going to startle her back into her burrow real shame but we tried now let me get that roach out and i'll tell you what i plan on doing next so with the roach out the way the plan is to leave this enclosure for a few days and then i'm going to return onto this video and we'll see what she managed to do with this enclosure so it's going to be a little while for me but a split second for you so let's just have another angle of how the enclosure looks right now I may try and take that webbing patch out so she can recreate a new one but I don't want to stress her too much so we will see and let's come back to this enclosure a few days later something I just had to quickly capture for you guys I don't know how you can see but she's left a line of silk between her and the ball of web still sort of claiming it as her own when I'm trying to remove it anyway let's come back this few days later shall we so it has now been a whole week since we put our diplora in this enclosure now you probably won't be able to see that much from here so I'm going to open it up for you and show you the magnificent webbing this curtain web spider has now made so you can see not only has the webbing gone around the edge like we had hoped but there's even strands going all the way across the bottom now this isn't a murky picture for you guys this is all web i know a lot of it just looks like a funny reflection or bad quality but it is all web you can see as the strands shine in the light there and the spider dwells just here just about make it out look at that is that not beautiful almost like a winter wonderland really now i can't really get a good angle for you guys to see the spider properly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and drop in a mealworm and see if it will take to it so although this mealworm is not actually close as i planned to the spider i didn't quite realize that web went that high i'm getting no movements yet let me just show you how this webbing has got high though there we are can you see that mealworm looks like he's sort of floating pretty cool right with my patience growing ever so more thin i have decided to chuck in one more mealworm closer to the spider to see if we can finally get that take down Again, it's hit the higher portion of the web tunnels this spider has made. Another one floating in the air. Movement. Did you catch that? The spider knows there's food there. This might be the moment, guys. Are you serious? That calming little bite is what that... Nope, back in. Ah, uh, it is definitely a light problem, guys. The sun has just shone through my window and then the spider retreated. I can't believe that. Our opportunity for a takedown failed by the sun. The spider has retreated even further back. What can I say, except for the fact that we've built up all this suspense 
for nothing. It's going to go for another turn. Ah. Yes, we got some fang piercing action too. Look at that. Not the best of angles, I admit. But we've got the puncture. Oh, lovely jubbly. Mealworm ooze. I'm interested because this spider has not actually pulled the prey back in with it. Back into its silken retreat. Instead, it seems to just be letting its venom take some place. Well, I think that's the best that we're going to get out of this image. I'm sorry the spider didn't fully emerge and it took so long to get this takedown. All this dramatising for what was pretty much almost nothing. But hey ho, that's how life goes and I like to just show you as it is. So, if you want to see what else dwells in the realm, make sure to pop back weekly for multiple videos. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.